I didn't originally plan to make a video on this topic, but it's Need for Speed. So why did I not? Anyway, this, my friends, is quite interesting. Need for Speed, or EA, has registered a new trademark for Need for Speed known as Need for Speed Arena. Now, trademarks, before we start, are hit and miss. When, you, when companies register these, it can be for multiple reasons. It can be for no reason at all. We have to obviously wait for this, but it's always fun to speculate. I like speculating, especially when it's about Need for Speed. The basic idea is that EA has registered a trademark known as Need for Speed Arena. Now, this could be plenty of things. But let's get to the point. Need for Speed Arena was registered by EA under two different things. Computer game software and entertainment services. So pretty much what you would get under like a game category. So Need for Speed Arena. Not really sure what the name suggests until you go over to Air 12 Gaming and they've made an article. Thanks to Alan, he actually sent me the article to quickly look over. But basically, they're saying on Air 12 Gaming, and it would kind of tie in, make sense, is that it could either be the next game or they were saying it might be some kind of spin off game, like a mobile game or something to do with like a MMO style game. How, for example, you have Need for Speed Edge. So, my assumption is maybe it's. It could be a spin-off, like a smaller market, or it could be a mobile game. It could be a mobile game, because obviously Need for Speed No Limits is more customization-based. Maybe this one will be similar to Need for Speed Edge, but on mobile. You know, there's a lot of options. It could be the actual game for 2017. We don't know right now. We're just going off of a bloody trademark. I say that because sometimes companies will register things for the hell of it. You'll remember, for example, when I made a video talking about Need for Speed The Run. There's about 20 registered freaking Need for Speed things that haven't been done. Let me let me, let me, me dig them up. Let me dig them up. I can't find the article, but it was over on Video Gamer and a few other websites where they registered a hell of a lot of Need for Speed related things. One of them was Underground something. I can't remember. There was a hell of a lot of them, and they basically never ended up getting used. Underground East! Underground East! Nah, I still can't find it. Anyway, so yeah, there was a lot of registered Need for Speed things that never got used, so this could be one of them. But I was also thinking, what if this was actually the online segment to Need for Speed. What if they were doing a GTA Online style multiplayer in where it was its own like entity, if you will? Because obviously GTA 5 is long dead and gone, but GTA Online still gets support every month. They just released a new thing that we're probably gonna try with the knobheads, by the way, you should check that out when it comes out. But literally they're still adding content every pretty much month to GTA Online and all the special events that get happen that get, that get added to the game. So it, it could be something like that. I, that's, in my mind, the most likely case. But if not, it might just be something to do with, um, as suggested in the air tour, so I think they mentioned this as well, suggested that it might be something to do with esports. And again, they were saying it's more to do, could be the base game, but it could be literally just uh, its own separate entity, not a game as such, but a website, Need for Speed Arena, in where you register your times together, or you register as like a crew, and you could do like esports style stuff on Need for Speed. It could be a hell of a lot of things. I think if I had to put my money on one thing, I would assume either one of two things. It's either to do with multiplayer, like a separate entity, or it is to do with esports. Esports just like it's the big thing for racing games at the moment and it makes sense to do so We've got Gran Turismo Sport for example, we've got Forza diving into it It would make sense for Need for Speed to give it a go as well I reckon if Drive Club was still around like it, it it's still around But like if it was still being officially supported there would be like esports Drive Club stuff everywhere it, there's eSports, eSports Project Cars. Need for Speed is literally the only series right now that doesn't have some kind of eSports following well it does but it doesn't have like an official backing on that esports presence. But again, this could be literally nothing. That's the one thing I've got to keep saying. It could literally be absolutely diddly squit. But it could also be something. It's fun to speculate. Let me know down in the comments what you think it is. The AR12 article will be down in the description. You can check it out for their view on their spot. Yeah, I, I'm really interested about this. And again, I probably should have covered this pretty earlier because again, uh, Need for Speed is kind of a thing here. Need for Speed and the crew. Like, those are the two dominant things. So, 
I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. But one thing is for sure, we're coming close into the next year, which is when the next Need for Speed is actually going to be coming out. So there's going to be a heck of a lot more leaks and kind of trademarks and rumors going about everywhere. So if you want to be up to date on Need for Speed everything, it's not a game. That's not a game, by the way. It's not been trademarked. It might have been, actually. I don't know. I should probably look at that. Need for Speed everything. I may... Should, should thank me for that. It's, it's stupid. But I mean, I'd be totally down for them adding, say, an online aspect. Like they have GTA Online and they keep updating it and everything. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you think and would hope it would be. But as I said, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want Need for Speed stuff. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.